Find your Shavasana, we're doing Yoga Nidra. Start to lay down. Now as you're laying down, I'm gonna read a little bit from the book Yoga Nidra here. And I wanna remind you that the trick to stay awake, <laughs> lifting the forearm perpendicular to the ground, right? Keeps a little bit of muscle activity going. So if you can find a nice, comfortable laying down position flat on your back, Yoga Nidra should be practiced usually 20 to 25 minutes minimum to 30, 35, and perhaps even 40 and more. So we only have 15 minutes on this platform. So we'll do a, a miniature variation. But I, I do wanna give you the full 61 points experience, which is the rotation of consciousness through the body to systematically relax and smooth out our energy in our body. So I hope you're all finding your laying down position flat on your back. Yoga Nidra is a more efficient and effective form of psychic and psychological rest and rejuvenation than conventional sleep. Those who adopt this technique in their daily routine soon experience profound changes in their sleeping habits. The total systematic relaxation of a Yoga Nidra session is equivalent to hours of ordinary sleep without awareness, because Yoga Nidra is sleep with awareness. A single hour of Yoga Nidra is as restful potentially as four hours of conventional sleep. This is one of the secrets of the superhuman efficiency and energy of many great yogis, past and present, who have managed to achieve so much in one short lifetime. In fact, the capacity to sleep and dream consciously in Yoga Nidra is an evolutionary process which has been utilized by many exceptional people throughout history, paving the way to greater inspiration and achievement in their lives. The officers of Napoleon, the 17th century general and emperor of France, for example, have reported that he possessed an unfathomable and tireless source of energy and inspiration. At the very height of pitched battle, just when the outcome was in the balance, he would hand over his command to a subordinate, leaving instructions that he was not to be disturbed for 20 minutes under any circumstance. Then retiring to his tent and stretching out upon an enormous bear skin, he would enter Yoga Nidra. Within seconds, regular snores would be emerging. Precisely 20 minutes later, he'd emerge, fresh, invigorated, and inspired, remount his horse, and inevitably led the French army to a decisive victory. So there are many yogis of the past who claim to be yogis and who don't even claim to be yogis who practice this technique of Yoga Nidra, systematic relaxation of the body, placing us into a state of conscious rest, which is deeper than unconscious rest. And that state also gives us opened and heightened receptivity for working on character development and qualities to develop. Okay, I hope you're laying down. So the proper pose, asana, for, shava, for yoga nidra is shavasana with the legs a little bit wider than the hips and the palms turned up, nothing touching the fingertips, arms a little bit wider than your body as well. If you need to support your neck, please do. Make your final adjustments, please. And if you need to lift your forearm of one arm perpendicular to the ground, if you think you might fall asleep, you can do that now. Take a slow, controlled breath, breathe in. Open the mouth, exhale and relax. Again, breathe in slowly, all the way in, and as you exhale this time, just say to yourself, relax. Breathe out, relax. One more time, full breath, full breath, breathe in. As you exhale, relax. Develop your awareness of the meeting points between your body and the floor or whatever it is that you're resting on. Feel the connection, the solidity of your body on the ground or on a couch or on a bed. Place your awareness into your legs, making sure that they're heavy and unengaged, no tensing. Notice your pelvic area, relax it, your chest, relax. Relax your arms and your face and your head.
allow the breathing to become very natural and unshaped. Don't shape the breath now. Just be aware of the breath. And know that your breathing pattern is perfect for you right here and right now. Laying down in Shavasana, we will practice Yoga Nidra. It's a shortcut to Samadhi. It's a shortcut to Jagrat, the fourth state of higher awareness. Turiya is the fourth state, higher awareness. Jagrat is what we're bypassing. Intend for your complete being to be at rest. Bring your awareness to the point between the eyebrows and notice, become aware of a point of light, a small point, a focal point of blue or silver or white light between the eyebrows. Sense that there is additional relaxation there. Feel even your breath there, feel prana there. And then move that point of awareness to the throat. Feel relaxation in the throat. And now to the right shoulder joint, the right elbow, a point of light in the right wrist, tip of the thumb, Index finger, point of light. Middle finger. Ring finger. And pinky. Right wrist. Right elbow. Right shoulder joint. Back to the throat center, point of light. Left shoulder, left elbow, left wrist, tip of the left thumb, index fingertip. Just relax, middle finger. Ring finger, little finger. The point of light moves back to the left wrist, left elbow, left shoulder joint, and the throat center. down to the heart space, deep inside the heart, a point of light, just sense relaxation there. Center of the right chest, back to the heart center. Move your awareness to the point of light in the left chest and the heart center. And down to the navel center, just be aware, don't focus too intently. Top of the sacrum, the second chakra location, point of light. The right hip joint. Right knee. Right ankle. The right big toe. Second toe, third, fourth, little toe, back to the right ankle joint, point of light, right knee, right
right hip. Top of the sacrum. Left hip. Left knee, center of the knee, point of light. Left ankle joint. Big toe tip of the left foot. Second toe. Third. Fourth. Little toe. Left ankle joint. Left knee. Center of the left hip. Top of the sacrum. Navel center, point of light. Heart. Throat center. Third eye. Point of light rests in the third eye. see the physical body as a vast empty space. A vast dark empty space like the night sky. And all these points of light that we've just identified in the body are like stars in the vast night sky of the body. 61 points of light constellation of stars. As you notice your body breathing, the breath is like a breeze, a gentle airflow of cool, calm wind moving through the constellation of the body. Please return to your breathing now. Take a deep inhale. As always, feel free to remain in this meditative state as long as you need, as long as you feel. Conscious awareness during Yoga Nidra is far more restful than unconscious snoring. Thank you for practicing. Have a beautiful day. Enjoy this weather. Namaste.